And our Ronnie here has even developed some additional stuff to put on top of it. So we're going to have a look. So imagine you're in a doctor's office, okay? Don't take your clothes off just yet. But if you're in a doctor's office, Ronnie is going to serve you. You have six minutes, Ronnie. Are you ready? I'm ready. And off we go. Okay. Okay, here's our scenario. Here's our scenario. Our, our user is a doctor who treats work-related injuries. And whenever he sees a patient for the first time, he's got to record some key data. He's got to record the body part that was injured and the condition of that body part. And he's got to look up and record a diagnosis code that corresponds to that condition. So that was our challenge. We wanted to create a tool that allows a user to look up and record the body part, condition, and diagnosis code without having to stop and type. And we wanted to do it in an interactive way that avoids the typical pop-up selection list or drop-down list. So uh, what I came up with is a graphical query tool that I wrote using Power Builder and SQL Anywhere. And uh, I'd like to show it to you. So the first thing you do is um, pick a picture to use as a background image. And these are pictures that have been loaded to the database and saved as binary objects. Um, you can load a new picture by clicking this button and browsing your file system, but I'm going to pick a picture that's already been loaded. Now, the application will create an initial overlay grid based on the pixel dimensions of that picture. Now, this grid is a little bit too coarse, so I'm going to manually adjust it by doubling the number of elements along the width and the height. And when I click this button to create the grid, I'm creating rows in a database table. One row for each element in this grid. So that's 14 by 32, or 448 rows. Um, now, for you folks who are not familiar with Power Builder, this is a data window. For you data window junkies, believe it or not, this is a data window. It's a, all right, I only got six minutes. It's a dynamic N up data window, where N matches the width of the grid. So this is a 14 up data window. And when I click a grid element, or select a range of grid elements, I'm identifying rows in a table. So that allows me to cross-reference this part of the picture to specific items or keywords in various lists. So I'm going to take this highlighted part of the picture and I'm going to cross-reference it with the words elbow and forearm in this list and with the words abrasion, contusion, and fracture in this list and also with the word uh, left in this list of uh, body positions. I'm going to take this part of the picture and I'm going to call that uh, the head. And notice how the list filters as I type. Now let's say we have a user who has his own terminology and he wants to call this the, no the noggin. Well, noggin isn't in my list of keywords, but that's okay. I can add it on the fly by clicking this button. Now look, just in case noggin isn't in my master list of diagnosis codes, I'm going to create an alias relationship where I equate the word noggin to the word skull. And I'm also going to pick some conditions to go with our noggin. And uh, finally, um, you'll notice that the grid is not fine enough to distinguish individual fingers on this hand. So I'm going to take this part of the picture and rather than mapping it to a set of keywords, I'm going to map it to another image map that I've set up which is a close-up view of the left hand. So that's how you set up an image map. Let me show you how to use it. So I'm an end user and I'm uh, performing an examination. I'll bring up this screen. And you'll see along the top there are various thumbnail images of image maps that I've set up. And you click on a thumbnail to use that image. Then you simply click on the part of the image that you're trying to diagnose and then you select your desired body part and condition. And you'll notice that those two words I've selected have been used to automatically query a list of diagnosis codes. So down here I see a list of all the diagnosis codes that match elbow contusion. If I click on the hand, I'll get that submap of the hand where I can click individual fingers and joints. And if I click on this part of the picture, I can say, hey, that's, that's my noggin. And um, there's a contusion. And if you look in this list below, uh, lo and behold, here are all the diagnosis codes for um, skull contusions. Um, so that's a basic description of how to set up um, and use image maps. I'd like to show you some examples of other image maps um, that I've set up. 
This is a general view of the exterior of a body, and you can see how in an industrial medical setting, you can diagnose most injuries, uh, most external injuries, by simply clicking on the various parts of the image. And you can get, you can handle more and more specialized medical conditions simply by choosing the appropriate type of picture. For example, this picture can be used to diagnose a condition known as tennis elbow, while this next image can be used to diagnose a condition known as hockey face. <laughs> this image is useful if you're dealing with a condition known as burning feet syndrome, while this next image is useful when you're dealing with a condition known as cold feet syndrome. <laughs> and finally, uh, this picture showing the various parts of a kidney um, is useful when you're diagnosing renal failure. And this last picture showing various tablet devices that are not iPads is useful when you're diagnosing retail failure. <laughs> so that's so that's my presentation. I've demonstrated <laughs> I've demonstrated how you can take <laughs> I've shown you how to use Power Builder to take any background picture, map the different parts of the picture to different keywords, and to use that mapping to drive yeah. an interactive selection tool for your application. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.